Well, today is the preliminary of the Miss Oklahoma USA and Miss Oklahoma Team USA pageants. So right now I'm just sitting back in my my lovely hotel room getting ready to go to dress rehearsal at three. All the girls are beautiful and I think it's going to be a great show. It has been such a whirlwind, honestly. Um, of course, after Miss USA, um, the exposure that you receive is pretty overwhelming. And I immediately, you know, got dozens of phone calls from agencies all over the country. And initially, I was going to move to L.A., pursue, you know, anything industry. What's great about L.A. is you can pursue lots of different areas of entertainment. I talked with Trump, Trump management, William Morris Entertainment, um, all these fantastic agencies and uh I kind of had a tug in my heart that this might not be um, this might not be what I want for my life. And I'm actually still in Oklahoma City right now, and I'm continuing to pursue my degree in journalism and broadcasting. And I'm also heavily involved in the ministry, and it has just been blessing my life more than I can possibly um, articulate to you. Honestly, um, one thing that I've learned throughout this year is that there's a big difference between happiness and joy and happiness depends on happenings and those can be good and those can be bad and I think this whole the year preparing for Miss USA it was kind of all happenings you know the good the bad and the ugly the you know the failures and the feats and the adversities the accomplishments but but joy transcends happiness and I think that joy comes from the Lord and um, if you're really pursuing him wholeheartedly, no matter what's going on in your life, you can still find joy. And that's where I'm at. I'm a youth leader at my church, which has just rocked my world. I've really realized um, that I have a huge passion to pour into young women. And I've been speaking a huge amount. God has totally opened the floodgates to go speak places, um, share my heart, share my faith, women's conferences, whatever it may be. Um, I've really grown to have a love for that, and I also love to write, and so I'm contemplating, you know, the whole speaker, author, who knows? So that's kind of a path that I've been searching and seeing if that might be what God has in store for me. So that's what I've been doing as of late, but I'm also still continuing to model here and there while I finish school, but nothing full-time before I get that degree. Oh, boy. <laughs> It's so funny because when I watch uh, the playback, I see us talking and they're like, what are you saying? I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what we're saying. It was totally a zone. Um, it's an interesting feeling because all 51 girls train so hard and they pour so much time and energy into it. Some girls years, you know, for me, since Miss Oklahoma USA, it'd probably be out six months, but it's over in seconds. And so it's an interesting feeling. Um, just how it flies by. And um, yeah, I, I don't even remember what we were saying in the final two. I just remember, I don't know. I, I think I kind of felt in my gut that, that I didn't win. I think, um, I think God was kind of preparing me because I just, you know how your, your spirit kind of senses stuff. And I was like, I don't know about this, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's just a mind blowing thing for me to even fathom just 51 girls, you know, I mean, cream of the crop of the nation, every young woman, rock hard body, everybody had six packs, gorgeous faces. You know, how do you judge something like that? I mean, even making top 15 is an incredible honor. And so to, to think of becoming first runner up still is so humbling and so grateful to have given the opportunity.